to our athletic trainer, Corey Hodgnicki. Thanks for being with us today. I have a few questions for you. Awesome, thanks. Um, first one, tell us how you got interested in athletic training. Well, when I was, uh, when I was in high school, I was playing football. Oh, my. I don't, I don't know what to do here. You can just keep your hands down. Uh, okay. Well, okay. uh, no, I, uh, I was playing football in high school. I broke my leg uh, pretty bad. Um, we didn't have an athletic trainer at my high school, um, so I was doing a lot of physical therapy and all those different things, and I started to learn about the profession and thought that, you know, it would be nice to have, uh, you know, or it would have been nice to have someone like that, you know, with me, and so that's kind of how I got into it and thought that it would be nice to help people when they get here. Thank Can you. you tell us a story of your most memorable moment being an athletic trainer? Uh, you know, I've had a lot of good, a lot of good, good moments uh, throughout my career. Uh, two things that stand out for me was uh, when I was a graduate assistant at Texas. We went to the Rose Bowl. Uh, growing up in, in Ohio and knowing everything about the Rose Bowl, that was pretty exciting to be a part of that. Um, the other one was when I was at the University of Portland. I had a baseball player who went into cardiac arrest. Uh, he was revived and resuscitated on site. Uh, wanted to be a, a pitcher again and keep it, keep his career going on. Um, and so we went through a lot of hoops and a lot of clearance and liabilities and all these things and eventually after about six months he was able to get back and just I remember seeing him on the mound uh, even more specifically looking up into the stands and seeing his parents watch him again on the mound uh, was really something special. Well besides seeing me every day what's your favorite part about working at the volleyball team? Um, you know, I think it, the, the girls here have been fantastic. We have a lot of fun. Um, we're always kind of joking around and kidding around. Uh, you know, I, I really do enjoy that. I think just watching the game, my, my wife is a volleyball coach, um, and I've learned so much about it, and I've come to really appreciate it. And it's just so fast-paced and explosive and just really exciting, and I think just being around that every day. Well, Corey brings his kids to the training room all the time, little Brandon and Hadley, they're so cute. So just tell us a little bit about them and the rest of your family. Uh, well, Brandon's five years old. Um, he's he's uh, a ball of energy, as we all know. Uh, the one time he came running down to practice with his shirt off, swinging it in the air. Yeah, that was actually my fault. Yeah, that was, that <laughs> was right. Uh, but he just loves sports. He loves being around, um, you know, my wife's teams, my team, um, things like that. I have a almost two-year-old. Um, she'll be turning two here in just over a week, Hadley. Um, she is just like her little, or her big brother. Um, she's a ball of energy, just always running around, um, loves sports, loves volleyball. She always picks up the volleyball, calls it basketball, though, but she loves the volleyball. Um, you know, so they're around a lot. You know, we try to bring them around, um, you know, kind of sometimes helps the mood sometimes, you know, just makes things a little bit lighter and a little bit easier, kind of gives you something to smile about. And final thoughts, you were a big help with me when I was redshirting, you kind of kept the morale up and helped me with my knee, do you have any thoughts about that? You know, I mean, anytime that someone's injured for a long time or just redshirting like you were, I mean, you were able to do some things, but you just, you know, it was a while before you can play. You know, that's a, that's a really down moment for, for athletes. And so what I always try to do is really just make sure that, you know, to try to keep it light, keep it, keep the humor level up and just kind of make it as enjoyable as you can. Because otherwise it's just, you know, you'll go through this monotony and you'll just get really down and depressed. And, and you know, that's where you can run into some problems. So just, you know, really joking a lot. I know we were always cracking jokes a lot, um, having as much fun as you possibly can. I think that's what really helps. Well, thank you, Corey. Thanks for being with us. See you at Hoover Nation.